What's good guys, Prince Sports coming at you with another one. You gotta be mentally retarded if you do not make a trade for Paul George and you're the New York Knicks. Around the draft pick time, the Knicks had trade talks with the Clippers. Why you didn't pull the trigger on that? Why you didn't give the Clippers whatever the hell they want? All you would have been losing is Julius Randle, who would never win you an NBA championship. Because teams that win NBA championships usually have at least one or two top five players or top ten players. You don't believe it? Look at every single year. Look at the history of basketball. Rather it was the Kobe and Shaqs. Rather it was Dwayne Wade. Rather it was LeBron James. Rather it was Steph Curry. Rather it was Kevin Durant. Last year the Joker was considered a top five player. What did he do? He won the championship. And he did it with... Borderline All-Stars. Well, technically, he did it with no other All-Star. If you want to be technical about it, even though Jamal Murray played at a high level, had a high clip. So, if you're the Knicks, you're going to let a player like Paul George slip by? You let Donovan Mitchell slip by. You let um, Paul George now slip by. The Clippers are in disarray. They got two injury-prone players. They're not going to win a championship with two injury-prone players. Now, can they get healthy and go on a tear in the postseason and win a championship with Kawhi being a top five player in the world when, he, when he's ready to play and Paul George being the top ten player? Absolutely. And that makes it really hard to give up. I understand that. That makes it hard. Right? So, but if it's not working... Why won't you just take a risk with one injury-prone player, which is Kawhi Leonard, right? Because he's a better player. So keep him and just build around him and give him a lot of good depth and pieces. Simple. You could re-sign Russell Westbrook. And the Knicks could offer you the most value for a guy like Paul George. Yeah, you'd be giving up a potential top 10 or top 15 player in the world. But you still got one top 5 player when he's healthy. Then you would have a Julius Randle. Why not get rid of him if you're the Knicks? You're never going to win with him being the number one option. All right? He's never going to be a top five player. He's never going to be a top ten player. So why not get rid of him when you have the opportunity and chance to? Before it's too late. Because the Knicks are looking to be stuck in basketball, rocking a hard place. Okay? You're stuck in the gray zone. And you can't get out the gray zone unless you make moves and get rid of some of those pieces. Yeah, it's good on paper. All that depth is good on paper. But none of that depth could win you a championship because you got no elite players. And that's what you need, need if you're the New York Knicks. Julius Randle will fit Paul George's all-star status with Kawhi. All right? Then if you give up, let's say, a player like R.J. Barrett, who was a disappointment period. He never amount to be an all-star. He's a role player. So you can have him replaced. Long as you got Bronson and Paul George. You could build around that. Okay. Role players grow on trees. The Miami Heat just made it to the finals. With a bunch of no-name D-leaguers. If they could do that. Then the Knicks could do. And get a bunch of veteran role players. You could go and get Dwight Howard for cheap. Have him come off the bench. He won a title in 2020. He could still give you some firepower. There's plenty of guys that could still give you some firepower if you have good, solid role players. All right? You don't need a bunch of borderline all-stars that can't get the job done. All right? Send them to the Clippers. And bring Paul George. So that's another disappointment. On the Knicks part. This is another reason why the Knicks probably would never win a championship in modern times. They won't win it in the next five years. They won't win it in the next ten years. <clears throat> because they don't know how to build the team right. They don't know how to put talent on their team. And that's their biggest problem. Until they can fix that problem. They're going to be stuck in basketball lore. Which is the gray zone. You suck. You get to go to the playoffs, yeah. 
couple first round exits, a couple second round exits. But that's all the Knicks going to be until they land a damn superstar. Trade for Paul George. He don't want to be on the Clippers don't want him. Okay? The Clippers don't want to restart with that roster. Because that roster is doomed to fail. It already went AWOL. Shit already hit the fan. How many years are you going to give this experiment with the Clippers a try? You're going to let Paul George walk for free? Clippers do the spark dang and trade Paul George. Knicks do the right dang and take Paul George. Sports out. Peace.